The sea helps regulate climate. It generates 60% of the oxygen we breathe. Most of the carbon that's stored on the planet is stored in the ocean. We've been very slow to recognise that. For a country with a marine space 14 times the size of land, that's just nutty. As humans, we're the most destructive species, but we're not superior. Any activity that we do creates stresses. You get this, nothing's happening, nothing's happening. Oh, goody, we can keep doing this. And then all of a sudden, bang, you've gone over this tipping point. We have an increasing number of stresses on the reefs around Aotearoa. Kenna are obviously a big problem in certain parts of the country. There were 112 million mussels in 2007. Fast forward to 2019, reduced to just under 80,000 in the entire harbour. The Poor Nights has traditionally been thought of as a pristine environment, but it's currently been impacted by very large issues. Seaweed, it's the Amazon of the sea. We need to learn some lessons from our landscapes and not apply them in the ocean. There's a lot that we can do now within the policies that we already have that just haven't really been used. Could we go the muscles on biodegradable lines so that they attach as a whanau? We did a kind of removal experiment. It's incredible to see in 18 months the change. And now we have these giant kelp forests. As rangatahi, we often feel like we can't make an impact and it's letting go of that and just giving everything a go. We, Katoa, all of us, have to start acting in a manner of kaitiakitanga. <laughs>